Hey Leo, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you guys are all doing well. This is your general tarot reading for this week of September 2022 for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So we're going to take a look and see what could be coming in for you guys, Leo. If you enjoy these readings, do let me know. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you want a personal tarot reading for yourself, all the details are in the description box. And your bonus extended is up on Vimeo. All right, so Leo, let's jump right in. Let's see what messages we can get for you guys. Again, like, share, comment, subscribe. You may be dealing with a Leo, okay? Take it how it resonates. And this could be a love-based romantic connection. Could be any type of partnership, business, family, friend, okay? All right, so the biggest challenge, Leo, is the chariot in reverse, okay? So it feels like there is some kind of situation that is no longer working. There could be energy of feeling like it has not been victorious, right? You put all this energy and effort into it. You really worked hard at it, and it has resulted in some kind of failure. So something has stopped working. Something has stopped moving forward. And the challenge is like, you know, what now, right? How to proceed. Um, the chariot in reverse could be a very, like, um... A stubborn energy it could be someone that you're dealing with that's just very stubborn. Um, maybe they're just not working hard enough at something where you're not sharing the same goal, right? The end goal. So let, we're going to look into the energy a little bit more. This could be a cancer in your life. In the past, we have the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Two Swords, and a Verse, and the Ace of Wands. So yeah, it definitely feels like in the past, there was a connection here that may have started off fairly quickly with the Ace of Wands. This could be someone that you were very attracted to. There was great vibes, great chemistry, um, but it feels like it was very short term. So it may have gotten to a point where someone made a decision, right? It feels like uh, Two of Swords could be someone cutting out Okay, it could be someone literally cutting themselves out of the picture or removing themselves from the situation because it feels like it almost feels like someone was avoiding conversation or avoiding a, a long term commitment. Seven of Pentacles was someone not willing to invest for the long term. That's what it feels like, Leo, because with the Seven of Pentacles, it feels like someone who was definitely ready to commit was thinking about their their finances, their resources, their time, their energy, and they wanted something to pay off. But with the Ace of Wands in reverse, it feels like someone put the brakes on a connection. Uh, Ace of Wands in reverse could be, again, just, you know, going in a connection or a relationship for the wrong reasons, okay? So it feels like what you and this person wanted could have been two different things, two swords, and someone was left at a crossroads. Leo, maybe you were very conflicted after someone removed themselves from the picture. Someone could have all of a sudden cut out or cut off communication with the Two of Swords. The current energy is a Five of Swords in a verse, the Page of Wands, and a King of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I'm laughing because the Page of Wands is telling me that someone could be sending you a message, Leo, about this. This could be a message you're sending to them, but it could be a message coming in to you. Five of Swords in verse, it feels like the intention is to move away from some kind of conflict or resolve some kind of, a, <laughs> I'm getting like an um, argument, okay, to kind of get to the bottom of something. Five of Swords is avoiding some kind of drama. So if there was a fight or argument or maybe this person lied, it feels like they're now wanting to address that. But they don't want confrontation. And that's what it looks like. So the Page of Wands, someone may be wanting to move in a new direction, or wanting to, um, yeah, just feels like they're inspired for some kind of change. Page of Wands could be coming in with inspired action. He has a plan. He has a strategy. Now, Cancer, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, can't, King of Cups, could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but it also could be someone here, Leo, that has a lot of love for you, right? That King of Cups feels like someone in your life, Leo, has love but doesn't always show it or could be afraid to show it too much right the page of wands is like they give you just very bare minimum okay <laughs> they don't really give you all of them or they don't really take much action with regard to showing their love you know what i mean so give me the energy for you leo Queen of Wands, there you are. You know your worth. The Queen of Wands knows their worth. Male or female doesn't matter. You have a lot you bring to the table. Queen of Wands is very confident, 
very fiery, right, Leo? There could be something you're very passionate about, you feel very strongly about. You could be really um, making sure that you're being heard, making sure you have a voice, making sure you this person knows where you stand, especially with regard to partnerships, the two cups. So Leo, that could be your focus. That could be your priority right now, finding someone who you are aligned with, someone who you're equally yoked with, right? Coming together in this two cups energy. In the foundation, let's take a look. I'm not taking that card that just flew out. In the foundation, let's see what your person's energy is. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Devil in reverse. We have the Sun, all these major arcanas, and the Queen of Cups. Capricorn, Leo, it does feel like there is some kind of faded event here, right? The Wheel could be a situation that's making a turn for the better right and you may not see it coming but the wheel it feels like there is a divine path there is movement change heading in the right direction and it's very favorable for you leo now your person's energy they may be removing themselves from some kind of toxic thread some toxic tie they may have had the devil in reverse could be letting go of some kind of fear addictions self-limiting thoughts beliefs okay about a situation that may have gotten in the way of their ability to love you with the king of cups or show you the love that they have for you because i feel big big love but i feel like they don't know how to show it with the sun there's clarity there's truth there may be an opportunity coming in with the sun for something to finally move forward the sun could be healing that's your energy leo it feels like your person definitely has you on their mind but when i look at the sun it makes me feel like there's truth coming out. There could be something that is finally like the, the road's opening, right? The path is open once someone removes themselves from this devil toxic tie or whatever this is that's holding them back. This could be letting go of their past, letting go of past hurt, past trauma that has stopped them from being able to love you. Queen of Cups, they want to show you love. So it feels like there's a lot of love here. The sun could be um, also showing this way, showing this person the way on how to love you how to open up their heart to you, especially if they have been unable to. The chariot is in reverse. It feels like this is your person's energy where it's like you both wanted something, but your person wasn't taking the action to show that they wanted the same thing. The death is in reverse. Some of you guys, there is a revival. There is a new beginning. There's something coming back to life. This could be that wreck. <laughs> that retrograde energy the death in reverse it could be energy of something here coming to an end but in fact it's just changing and there's an opportunity for some kind of big major transformation and so with the death in reverse it feels like something is being reborn rebirth right scorpio energy and the page of pentacles there is that offer coming in could be for my cancer pisces scorpio like you've been dealing with or this could be um from a fire sign just like you it could be a taurus virgo capricorn but strong scorpio energy it feels like with the king of wands in reverse if this is you leo you may not be seeing this coming some of you guys you've already given up on the situation but with the death in the verse is coming back or is being resurfaced with the page of pentacles it feels like someone is making an offer to you okay and this offer could be leading to a revival of the death of the verse, okay? Of something, again, that has um, crumbled or something that hasn't worked out. So, Leo, let's jump right in. All right, give me the chariot. Why is the chariot here crossing the chariot? What's going on? The lovers. So, it definitely feels like you guys are aligned, your souls are connected, the lovers. There's a decision, but it does feel like someone made a decision to not come together, to not surrender and open up uh, their heart to this connection. With the cheer in the verse, it feels like someone here didn't believe in it or didn't feel like it was going to work out for the greater good. Um, a cheer in the verse could be just feeling as if it wasn't going to be victorious in some regard, okay? So, give me the recent past. Again, it was a decision that was made. Two swords came out. Oh, the tower with the empress. So, Leo, you could have gone through a tower moment. Okay, Scorpio energy. The tower in the verse could be something you've gone through or a situation that someone has avoided with this empress energy. It almost feels like if this isn't an avoidance, someone avoided a really beautiful opportunity. It feels like someone had sabotaged this connection or removed themselves from a connection because of their own fears, their own insecurities, or, again, the, the tower, feeling as if, oh, it's not going to... It's it's not going to end well, right? It's going to be disastrous, right? The emperor.
Empress is here, but it was a beautiful opportunity for something to grow, to thrive, the Seven of Pentacles, if they had invested in the right way. Give me the Ace of Wands in a verse. Someone broke your heart. It feels like your person just wasn't ready to take the next step or plunge into this connection. The Knight of Pentacles and the Three of Swords in a verse. For some of you, you could have been done with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They didn't have the finances or resources. They were not in the right place in their life to be able to provide you with that stability and security it also feels like this person just wasn't moving or wasn't offering anything at all you may have waited for this person for a really long time with the seven of pentacles and something here just did not um play out well it did not nothing came of it with the three of swords in verse it does feel like with the two of swords and three of swords there has been some of you a mutual separation you may have decided you know what this just isn't working for me either um but it also could have ended in a betrayal something that was very painstaking heartbreaking okay give me the five of swords in a verse there is some kind of disagreement you guys have had the wheel of fortune and nine of pentacles in verse there could definitely have been some disagreements regarding partnership commitment relationship like you may have felt very differently about um just everything regarding relationships and partnerships there could have been some big big major differences in how you guys perceive commitment and what you guys wanted from this commitment what you're willing to offer and invest in this commitment so with the wheel there is some kind of faded change again you may not be seeing this but we do have the page of wands give me that energy of the page of wands or some kind of new direction maybe a message okay there could be a message coming in from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Ace of Cups, a renewal of love coming in. It feels like this is coming from someone who gave up on you. Some of you guys, the Page of Wands could be this person inspired for some kind of movement after giving up. Literally, not taking action, not investing anymore, not putting any effort. Nine of Wands in a verse, it's like that energy of like, it's it's too difficult, I don't want to do it, you know? And so they kind of literally gave up. There could be a message coming in from that person. Some of you, you're the one who gave up on that person, but the Ace of Cups is a new offer of love, and a lot of you don't see this coming in, but it's meant for you with the wheel coming out in your um, favor. Again, the wheel is movement. It does look like it's from your person because we have the wheel coming out in the foundation. So someone may be wanting positive change with you, and it could be after a release of something that wasn't serving their greatest good, okay? Give me the Queen of Wands. You know, regardless, Leo, <laughs> you're doing good for yourself. Seven of Pentacles, you've had a lot of time to reflect, a lot of time to think about your future. Seven of Pentacles, what, again, what you want to commit to, what do you want to invest in, um, the value of your time, your energy. Five of Wands and a Page of Swords. There could be someone here that is keeping a watchful eye on you. Page of Swords could be someone connected to you in some way, especially online, social media platforms. They may be watching you from a distance. It could be a family friend, but it feels like someone's very interested and inquisitive about what's going on with you, but it almost feels like they're acting very immature or watching you from a distance because there's been some conflict. Five, five of Wands, right? You guys are not getting along. You don't see things eye to eye. There's a lot of resistance, uh, but the Two of Cups is making me feel like this is someone you really care about, someone that you really have deep emotions for, but you and this person knows that no good will come of it, or again, the cheer in the verse, something has stopped working. So it feels like the energy is that you guys are still keeping a watchful eye on you, uh, on each other from afar, okay? The cheer in the verse, there's something that has stopped working, hasn't worked out for whatever reason, but Leo, you guys are still very much connected. It almost feels like you guys are not talking or communicating much because there has been some kind of argument or fight. Now, the energy of the devil in the verse, whatever this person's letting go of, fear, trauma, uh, commitment issues, whatever that is, it's feel like it's serving this connection good because the wheel and the sun, there's truth, there's illumination, there's clarity, there's healing, there's finally good movement change in the right direction so the devil could be something your person was holding on to i'm getting baggage ten of wands could be something from the past that they were holding on to that wasn't serving them it could be a mindset could be a self-limiting thought belief it could be obsessions addictions or something going on your person was holding on to that now they're letting go of and freeing themselves from they're no longer carrying that heavy baggage it also feels like whatever this person was holding on to it has gotten them in trouble maybe with third parties three of pentacles maybe they weren't setting boundaries with regard to other people but it also could have been something they were holding on to that kept them from seeing things your way or from your viewpoint, from your perspective. And that could have been why you and this person clashed a lot because you didn't see things through the same pair of lens, right? Three of Pentacles in verse, 
you couldn't work together right there was something here about you guys working as a team it just wasn't happening so there's healing there's clarity there's truth give me the wheel Ooh, six of cups so the wheel with the six of cups is definitely indicating of some kind of opportunity to reconcile with this person leo it does look like you both are thinking about each other reminiscing a lot of feelings memories of the past precious times together um this is thinking about your past lover right and wanting to reconnect with them so there is a lot of good fortune here if you guys are trying to reconnect with a past lover or someone like an ex doesn't have to be an ex it could be someone you dated very briefly in the past you've never stopped thinking about there is a beautiful opportunity to go back to that person with the wheel now give me the sun ace of swords in the verse and the six of wands there's also a beautiful opportunity coming in if your person held back on some kind of vital communication maybe they lied maybe they held back something here because they felt um it wouldn't serve them any good ace of swords in verse this could have also been an argument or a fight whatever that is there's healing taking place okay if the sun can also bring light to something that they were not speaking about it's finally coming out in the open and the six of wands it's going to be victorious it's going to be victorious in the sense that it's going to really pay off for you and this person to finally speak your mind speak your truth or hear the truth get clarity so if you've been wondering something leo about why your person hasn't been talking or communicating that sun can be bringing light to that as well to where there's a victory there's a achievement here okay with regard to a reconciliation queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio it could be a fire sign or an air sign as well the death in a verse is definitely confirmation of a reconciliation happening and it does feel like a page of pentacles someone is willing to reach out and the knight of swords communicate there's a lot of quick communication coming in gemini libra aquarius someone has something to say and it could be some kind of communication about an opportunity it also feels like someone here could be struggling okay with trust i think this is you with the king of wands in a verse leo you may not trust this person when they come in just put it out there but it feels like with the page of pentacles it's gonna start small the person's gonna make an offer so they're coming in with communication but they're also making an offer and they're gonna show you that they're serious right the pentacles is like I'm committed to this. I'm willing to contribute to work our way up. So the death and the birth is a revival, a rebirth, a resurrection of something that may have been dead at one point. And so I think the biggest thing is just hearing this person out and being open-minded to a new opportunity that's coming in, okay? Or revival of an opportunity. So Leo, that is what I'm seeing. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Your bonus extended for September. What is this person not communicating? How do they feel? It's up on video. All right, you guys, take care.